Hey, this is Barry. Today I would like to make a video about how to preserve your dashboard. Whether your car has just a plastic dash or a vinyl dash, this little trick should help you uh, preserve your dashboard. And how I do this is there are some products on the market that are wax based that's supposed to preserve your dashboard. But the way I do it is I use scented wax. Now the good thing about using scented wax is that it comes in a variety of different aromas to help make your car smell good as well as preserve your dash. So for today's video we'll be using this old 1993 Geo Metro. It's seen better days. So let's take a look at um, how dried out this dashboard is. It's dry. It's been sun baked for years. <clears throat> um, disclaimer this wax won't help if you already have a big crack like this one right here. But it will preserve your dash so that hopefully it won't get any any more cracks in the future Whew, boy it's like an oven in here I will apply the scented wax and I'll show you what it looks like after it's had some time for the Sun to melt the wax into the dash you just simply take some of the wax and you have to do it on a hot day like in the summer and just rub the wax all over the dash and the heat you know when you close your door the heat inside the car will melt it and work it into the dash but there's one thing I have to point out the heater vents the defroster vents try not to get much of the wax down in there if you get the wax down in the defroster vent it may run down and go under your heater core and could potentially cause your heater core to go out prematurely so that's just one tip you don't want to uh, you know get the wax all around there but you don't want to put so much that it's gonna actually run down into the vent but everywhere else is fine but that's just one thing I wanted to point out because I've been using this for years and I had a car that I got too carried away and actually dropped the wax chips down in there and I don't know if it had anything to do with my heater go core going out but just in case I thought I would mention that so you can uh, get the wax around the edges but just don't excessively put wax down in there I will apply this and we'll take a look at it um, after it's had a little time to soak in okay it's been a day or two and we've had some pretty warm weather yesterday I think it was 102 it's about 100 today um, if you live in a northern climate where it doesn't get real hot hopefully it would be warm enough if your car has been out in the Sun with the windows up but it's ready now let's let's take a look and this dash looks nice and shiny the oil and the wax has soaked into the plastic it's all nice and shiny what you can do is while it's still hot and the wax is liquid you can wipe it off but there's really no need in doing that and I wouldn't recommend this on a brand new car or a car that you park in a garage or under a carport and the dash never gets too much Sun there's not really any point I mean you could if you wanted to or if you live in an area that's really dusty because um, sometimes the dust can stick to the wax but in that case it may be a good idea to get a washcloth or a dish towel and while the wax is still hot you could um, wipe off the excess wax but if you got an older car that sits out in the Sun all the time the scented wax will be great for that and it also um, smells pretty good it, you know if you use maybe cinnamon or some other scented candle that you like I like the um, fresh cut Fraser when you open your car in the summer and it's been sitting out in the heat 
it smells pretty good. This dash was just horribly dirty and uh, I didn't really clean it up very well. But you can see it, it has a nice shine to it. It doesn't look dry at all anymore. Also, I've used this on exterior parts. For example, if you have plastic trim pieces, if you apply that, it'll make those pieces look like they're not dry at all anymore. When I learned about it, I thought, hmm, that's kind of weird, but I'll give it a try. I've put this on several cars, and I've put it on my truck. The dashboard in my truck hasn't cracked anymore. Plastics are made with... Um, petroleum products when you put wax on there the oil and the wax will soak in and kind of renew the plastic but even on the vinyl it it appears to have made it more supple and and shiny you know armor all will eventually dry off this stuff seems to last quite a while because every time the car gets hot on the inside it'll kind of renew and start to shine again i mean it makes a great um scented smell in the car it may be better than uh, the car air fresheners. It's just a little tip that I learned that I thought some of you uh, may appreciate hearing about. What it looks like to apply the um, scented wax to the dash. Um, this um, Fresh Cut Frasier, the little package, comes in little squares that you can break off separately. But um, you just kind of rub it on a dash. You know, it's hot enough that it liquefies the wax. You just kind of rub it on till it covers the dash. This smells really wonderful. And that's basically how you apply it. You know, if you're going to be using your car that day, you may want to do this on a day... Uh, that you're probably not going to be going anywhere or you can use another car or something because you'll want to let your car sit out and the heat will help the plastic to absorb the, the oils and the wax some of you may think this is nuts but it seems to work pretty good and if you don't like it just um uh, Get your washcloth or your dish towel and uh, wipe it all off of there. You could actually just not let it soak in, but apply it. And then right away wipe it off. <clears throat> and, and what oils from the wax did soak into the dash, even that little bit would probably do it some good. And then that way you could instantly wipe it off. And even that would, would probably be helpful. Even if you didn't want to just let it soak in or leave it over, you know, a couple of day period. You know, it would leave the residue, which would be beneficial to the plastic or the molded vinyl. But I just want to show you how it looks when you apply it. If you have a plastic bumper that's like just plastic with no paint on it, you can also put it on there. Here's an example of a dry plastic bumper. Just rub it on there. See that uh, that hot wax will, the oils and the wax will soak in there. Plastic parts look <clears throat> maybe not exactly new, but a lot better than dried out. This truck has a plastic cow vent cover. It will bring this back as well.